Hey guys and gals, Danny Boy here, and today I have the OnePlus 8 Pro and the Apple iPhone 12. And what I want to talk about in the in this particular video are the builds on these phones. Uh, we know that the OnePlus 8 Pro here in the summer of 2021 sells from OnePlus for 699 bucks. That's a $300 price drop from the original price of $999 for this particular model last year at launch. So really good price here on the OnePlus 8 Pro here nowadays. And the Apple iPhone 12, uh, $829 for the unlocked model here. Okay, so this is the 256 gig, 12 gigs of RAM model of the 8 Pro. And then this is the 64 gigabyte uh, of storage here on the iPhone 12. So, price-wise, we can see where we stand. So, what do we get for these prices? You know, what are the builds like? Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the build quality here. So if I look here at the OnePlus 8 Pro, I can see I got a nice modern design, pretty much bezel-less. Got these little top and bottom bezels here. It's pretty symmetrical though. I like that they kept the top and bottom bezel, you know, pretty much the same size. Uh, it looks really good. I don't really care for phones making the bottom bezel bigger. Sometimes they do that. I like the more symmetrical look. We do have a hole punch cut out here on the 8 Pro, and it's off to one of the sides, in this case the left side. So I definitely like that design choice. I don't like Samsung center mounting the hole punch cutouts on their phones. I think that's an eyesore. Here it's kind of out of the way, a lot less distracting. Definitely like OnePlus's design choice here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the case off. And by the way, this clear case did come with the phone. So that's a nice bonus there in the box. Um, but if we look at the phone here, we can see on the left side, we've got a single volume rocker here. Looking at the top, we've got a microphone, and then we've got this kind of groove across the top here that looks really good. A uh, nice a little bit of a design touch there. And then on the uh, right side of the phone, we do have an alert slider with three different settings. Definitely like that. And our power button slash Google Assistant button is right here under that alert slider. Looking at the bottom of the phone, we have our bottom firing speaker. The other speaker is up here in the earpiece. It is a dual speaker setup. USB Type-C, of course, and then our SIM card tray here. And there is no micro SD card slot here. So flipping the phone over, we have a quad camera setup, even though it looks like a triple, it's actually a quad because we have another camera here to the side. We've got um, some sensor, a sensor, something there, a microphone, LED flash, a little bit of a OnePlus branding right here, and then OnePlus, it says here at the bottom. Okay, so... As you can see here, ultramarine blue color looks really, really solid. This is a glass back. Just This color is just really premium here on this phone. It looks really good. And we have wireless charging here on the OnePlus 8 Pro. If you want fast wireless charging, you got to kind of buy a proprietary charger from OnePlus that allows that. I've not done that. I'm okay with the regular wireless charging here. And we have IP68 dust and water resistance on this phone, so that's really good. Really build-wise, this is a really nice phone here, guys. No complaints at all. 
with the OnePlus 8 Pro as far as build quality goes. It feels premium. The sides here are uh, metal, of course. Um, just looks and feels good. I like the, the placement of the cameras here on the back. I like that they're not up in the corner here because that allows for less of getting your fingers in the shots potentially. So I do like this placement here. So, that's the build of the OnePlus 8 Pro. Let's talk about the Apple iPhone 12 here. Picking up the phone, turning the screen on, we can see we've got a nice symmetrical, uh, bezel-less almost design here. Pretty small bezels, okay. We do have this rather large notch going across the top. It's been there since the iPhone 10 from 2017. So it's a little bit dated feeling, but it's not bad. Uh, definitely better than just a single center mounted hole punch cutout. I definitely like it better than that. Um, but you know, good design here, good, I guess, modern design. Let's go ahead and take the case off here. This case is a little difficult on this phone. Um, give me a second. Okay. All right. So, looking at the phone here, looking at the left side, We've got our alert switch. You turn that down, um, and it's just one position there to mute the phone. And then we've got a split volume rocker, which I definitely prefer. I think that's really nice. Uh, we've got our uh, SIM tray here. There is no expandable storage, of course. Nothing on the top of the phone looking at the right side, we've got a power button slash Siri key, I think. I think that works, Siri, yeah. Um, and then we have this like antenna thing going on here that allows for better input of signals, like cellular signals, I think. Um, kind of feels like plastic there. It's not soft or anything. Bottom of the phone, we've got our bottom firing speaker here. The other speaker, of course, is in the small earpiece up here. It is a dual speaker phone. Got our lightning port here for corded charging or syncing. And then this, I think, houses maybe a microphone. Not quite sure, but turning the phone over here, we've got a dual camera set up, okay, with a microphone and an LED flash. Looks really nice, nice attention to detail here with the metal around the lenses there. Definitely like that, kind of a plastic, well I think it might be glass housing for the cameras there. So it looks good, definitely looks premium, nice glass, white back, this is the white model. Of course Apple logo there. Just really clean looking, feels super premium. As a matter of fact, when I got the iPhone 12 here for the first time, because I had not seen it in person when I went to the mall to pick it up, um, I was very impressed with the design uh, here on the regular standard iPhone 12. I didn't think it would be quite this good. This to me feels as good as my just about as good as my iPhone 10s Max that I had before this iPhone and that phone was the top of the line Apple phone at the time this feels definitely premium flagship level this does not feel like a mid-range phone so that's really good I uh, just really like the attention to detail, like the metal sides here. Just like Apple's overall premium design of this phone. Of course, we do have wireless charging here. And it is IP68 dust and water resistant. So that's good. 
Um, so really both phones are about the same. Uh, the wireless charging might be fast, faster on the 8 Pro here with that proprietary charger. I'm not for sure if there's a way to get it on the iPhone, but I think overall charging experience is probably going to be better on the 8 Pro, whether you're talking wireless or corded charging. But, um, you know, obviously the iPhone didn't come with the charger in the box, but that's getting off topic. Um, so really good guys here on these designs. Um, you know, I think the iPhone design feels very premium for the money. Obviously a more traditional setup here with the cameras on the top back left of the phone versus OnePlus kind of maybe a little bit more unique with them center mounted in the middle here. Uh, but both of these phones feel very premium. You know, at the end of the day, I think the iPhone feels maybe ever so slightly more premium here, but they're pretty close. Um, can't go wrong with either one of them design-wise, especially considering we now have wireless charging and uh, dust and water uh, IP68. Dust and water resistance here on the OnePlus 8 Pro. So, yeah guys, these are my thoughts on the designs of these phones. As always, if you're enjoying my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Of course, hitting that thumbs up button helps out there as well. But for now, guys, peace out.